Hello everyone, here is a different series, apparently it's like some like, my crazy rom school thing. Yeah, I don't know, <laughs> subscribe, do all that jazz, I have no idea, I just spit everywhere, so if you heard that, sorry. Uh, open my, my eyes as slowly as possible. Oh yeah, my name is Student Toad, yeah, instead of like two T's, this is my... Last letter of student. Yeah, you get it. Huh? Where am I? Oh, my head hurts. Quickly, the thing comes into view. Now, this is definitely a place I've never been in. What am I doing here? Dreaming. Yeah, that's it. I must be dreaming. A tall, imposing figure appears before me in a puff of smoke. <laughs> tall, imposing figure. I couldn't tell. Wait, does he have... Oh, man, he's thick. That's what you think, young man. Well, Commander Pay. Is that you? Commander who? What are you talking about? I'm a goddess. A goddess. Commander <laughs> And you're in a, and you're a lonely woodcutter living in the, in the middle of the forest. Pretty sure you're Commander Pants, you the main character of the manga I'm working on. Silence! I will not allow you to dis disrespect a goddess like me. Now let's get to now let's get to business, shall we? You are poor, you are dirty, and worst of all, you are single. Hey, eh, don't need to tell me that. Because of my generous generosity, I, a goddess, will serve as a matchmaker. A matchmaker, but silence! At the end of the day, only you can choose the right girl for you. Trust me, I helped a lot of men and women. I'm the best matchmaker in town. The lake starts to bubble in front of me. Don't well, that was like that was a jump scare, I guess. To my surprise, three girls begin to surface from the water just like magic. <laughs> what the heck? Wait, am I actually a lumberjacker? What is this? I thought this was like a, some school anime, not some like I don't know. Oh, I guess we need a thumbnail, right? Thumbnail. To my surprise, oh yeah, I said that. They are now floating midair. <laughs> what is happening? This is just a dream, all right. That's the only expe explanation. Listen up, woodcutter. You need to cooperate with me if you want to have a wife. How about this lovely lady? When the girl hovers towards me, she can be shy at times, but her heart is in the right place. Plus, she loves to bake cookies, cakes, pork cutlet sandwiches. You name it, she can make it. What do you think of her? Uh, a bit shy and timid. She won't keep up with me. She looks like a nice person. I won't be mean. I don't know if she can hear me or not. She's blinking. She's breathing. She has a bikini. <laughs> and dude, she is. So what do you think? I kind of like her. The girl curtsies, making her look cuter than, than she is. Thank you for your kindness, dear woodcutter. Oh, she can hear me. <laughs> You're very much welcome. Now on to the next one. But haven't I already made my choice? Silence! I search high and low for these three wonderful women. He's like, come on, man. I just need that. I had three of them. Let me just do the other two. <laughs> my first one, I'll be in vain. You can't make them all. And the shy girl floats back to her previous position above the lake. Now how about her? Now how about her? Thumbnail? <laughs> I have no idea. This is the most interesting way to in to start it off. However, it's towards me. Fancy someone who's feisty with a, bo a bit of apathy as a bonus? Look no more. D don't be fooled by her beauty. However, deep within, she hides a few layers of secrets. Now tell me, is it a yes or a no? Definitely a yes. Too spunky, I'll pass. <laughs> I mean, do I want to be mean or not? Mm, I don't know. I figured the third one already, so... Mm, I guess we're just going for years. Why not? I like... I love funny scenes. The one, shy ones are good, you know. But the aggressive ones are better. The girl hops on one foot. A huge smile placing on her face. I thought she was floating. I guess she can, like, go on one foot country. Uh, I don't, I don't want to give a voice here because I don't know their like, emotions. You have a good taste. I'm quite impressed. She's confident, too. I like her. A, great a quick decision on, on your part. Great job. On to the next one. Go and turn to the spot. The third, the final, and final girl drifts towards me. Red girl. <laughs> That's what I had to say. Thumbnail, right? Burp. 
mostly with a lady who oozes with maturity and intelligence. Wait, she looks familiar to me. I can't remember who she is. Command of fancy annoys me and clears his throat. <laughs> you need for beauty and brains, you might hit the jackpot. Is she the right girl for you? Tell me now. She looks familiar. That's yeah, so why I'm saying no. <laughs> why am I not surprised to know that you're the pickiest person on earth? <laughs> the girl crosses her arms. Whether you like me or not, life goes on. There's nothing I can do about it. Good point, ma'am. I'm sorry I didn't want to for us. She sighs before flowing back to her place over the lake. No, all you need to do is choose one of them. It's not AJ. Choose one of them. Um, I can say anything. I hear a weird sound from deep within the forest. Like the sound of a fire truck or something. What the heck is that? Oh, look at the time. I guess it's time for you to wake up. Wake up, but wait. See you, student old. Commander Pantu snaps his fingers and I whisk away into the unknown. Where? I smile deep, deep, in deep into the seamlessly endless void until I gently flow back into reality, and then I wake up. Turns out it wasn't a fire truck, it was my bedside clock. In one sweeping motion, I turn off the alarm. Ah, oh, my head hurts. I spent all night working on my manga. And that's why I dream of a command defense. What kind of name is that? My mind can't can think of nothing but him. <laughs> I can only think of Commander Pantsu. Oh. oh, yeah, that was a weird dream. Dream. I remember meeting three girls, but I can't seem to recall what they look like. Are they certainly part of my imagination. No matter, I need to get ready for the first day of classes. Don't want to be late. I jump out of bed and head straight to the shower. My way to school, I accidentally bump into someone. Ouch. Uh, I guess we could be like the sooner, right? Oh, I'm sorry, er, huh? Hello there, Isabella. Are you saying for a new school year? Cold silent, that's this. And that's how I've always known Isabella. I expected she only gives me a weird look. Hey, easy now. Sorry I was in a hurry because I don't want to be late. A murderous glance, she turns around and walks off. What's her problem? If he's down the road as nothing happens. Why did it shake? Hmm? As I walk into the classroom, my home teacher greets me in the most unpleasant manner. You are late. No, I'm not. I'm just I'm in just in time. How dare you question it and don't like me? Sit down. Look around, the classroom is already full. What should I sit? The teacher points at the very back. You have a brain. Can you use it to find a desk? With my eyes, I proceed down the back of the mother's room. To my surprise, Isabella is there sitting next to the only empty seat. I know she's going to be my seatmate. What should I do? Uh, <laughs> sit down, don't look her in the eye. Uh, just ignore her, uh, soon to you don't know why she hates you, but it, c it shouldn't affect you all at all. Just sit down and focus on your studies. Take a deep breath. Easy does it. Sit, sit, sit. Sit in the chair and it feels like I'm sitting in quicksand. All of a sudden I hear her whispering. Thinks he's sp What the heck? Uh, I don't know what voice to give her. Uh, thinks he's special. I don't want to stand next to him either. Excuse me, do you say something? If the shoe fits, it may as well wear it. Ugh. Turn away from her and gaze at her, my other seatmate. Hey there, stupid. <laughs> oh, great, Reeve. Hi right, there, I thought you were expelled out to place chili sauce in the cafeteria for last year. Muddy and beautiful strings on back with Avengers, baby. Don't you go my right, wrong side, okay? My face is itching to punch someone. I shut my mouth and turn away from him. This is about a sandwich between two people who I don't want to talk to. It's gonna be an interesting class, why not? Not. I don't know. The teacher slams the book on my on the desk. Okay, for your first homework, everyone goes in protest. What your kids got a problem with that? The teacher brandishes a long wooden stick. The entire class falls silent. I homework this early. I don't think I didn't think it was possible to hide it all on the first day of school. The assignment must be done in pairs, so we'll assign each of you a partner. The teacher scans the class list on the desk and then Paired everyone in the room. Now let's see. St student toad will be paired with not Reeve, not Reeve, not Reeve. Isabella. Wow, that's even worse. <laughs> and Isabella sighed beside me. What a way to start the year. We can pull through this assignment for her, and we can get through any anything. Is Isabella so Isabella still doesn't acknowledge my presence. And if she did, it won't be a surprise if, if her piercing stare would be the last thing I see. The first day of school is over. Uh. Man, I'm tired. I just did like two episodes, so yeah. I'm gonna walk home, just like I always do after the bell rings. 
I'm not a member of any school club, so who, who has the time for that? Besides, I need to finish my manga. I feel like I feel someone tap my shoulder. It wasn't just a tap. More like someone clung at me with strong fingernails. Turn around to see who it is. A robber? An alien? It's Isabella! Worse! <laughs> hey. Ugh, why can't it be a robber or an alien? <laughs> oh, hi, um... What should I tell her? Uh, stop following me. You're creeping me out. <laughs> Me creeping you out? That's the first time I've heard someone say that. You're the day of us. Who it looks like a creep? She going do is she doing this on purpose? She's getting, she's getting on my nerves. What do you want anyway? I don't have anything that belongs to you. Yes you do. What? My grades. Don't tell me you've forgotten all about our homework. Oh yeah that. You've forgotten. No I didn't. Okay okay, so what's our homework about? Er Terrific, my first part for the year, and he's a lazy good for nothing. Isabel rolls her eyes and takes a sip as if she's about to leave. Then she stops. Student Toad, this is not a good student rate voice, but I don't have one. Yes, yeah, that's my name, whether you like it or not. Relax, I'm not going to fight you. <laughs> oh good, I know she whooped my butt. <laughs> I was thinking if, if, if we want to walk home together. Don't get all mushy now. I think we should talk about homework on the way. Not like I like you or anything, Baka. <laughs> we saw each other this morning, right? And we saw our houses are just next to each other. That's why we we walk together. What do you say? Walk with me. Oh yeah. Why is my heart pounding? All right. This is the first time I've been asked by a girl to walk with her. But the thing is, I don't know her that much. Sure, I'm all I'm aware who Isabella is. She's a bit popular, but we never get that chance to talk too much. Sure, for her. Oh, I can. That was gonna be like a choice, like you couldn't. Because of the gems. Yeah, I walk with her. Why not? It's not every day you get to walk with a girl. Besides, it looks like she's, she doesn't have anything but up her sleeve. <laughs> Is a knife or something? I don't see why I should refuse. But I didn't I pretend to think about it for a few seconds. I feel like I'm shaking my head. If you don't want to walk, that's fine. I'm going. No way, I'm sure. Let's go. I, I mean, fine. Okay, let's walk, I mean. Hug. Well, that came out a bit desperate. The smoke appears on Isabella's face. She walks past me, leading the way. You better keep up with me, partner. Partner. I shake my head in frustration bef before following her. We sort of talk about homework, and, I, and I'm and i impressed that we haven't started attacking each other yet. Or maybe I'm, I was just being paranoid. Maybe she isn't bad as I thought she would be. So anyway, are you listening to me? Huh, what? Seem to be staring into space. Just tell me if you're in a hurry and we want we run you home to your mommy. <laughs> no, I'm not in a hurry. I mean I was staring into space either. I was just Yeah, why was I zoning out in the first place? I was wondering why you why you are so determined to finish your homework. It's just the first day of school, right? The teacher isn't gonna kill us if we don't do it either. well. Man, I cannot speak. Sigh. <laughs> why did he I could just done uh, I didn't need to do it. the word sigh. Boys, thing about you guys is that you are, you don't care one bit about education. Fall silent. Her statement was like a punch in the ego. Look at me, student toad. I'm so going to become one of the most popular girls in school. Do you know what, what it would mean to my future? Well, why are you so worried? You're almost famous. Isn't that a good thing? No, it's not. The students only like me because of my looks. I have to prove that I'm more than that. I'm gonna study hard. I'm not just a beautiful face, you know. You're most just I can't decide if she's being arrogant, arrogant or humble. It's great that you want to get good grades. I'm impressed. Where do you see yourself for ten years from now, anyway? Thank you for that wonderful question. <laughs> That's why we ask. Well, I guess we need a thumbnail, so uh, happy face thumbnail. Because I don't know if I want like a uh, the bikini stuff like for the first thumbnail thing. I don't know. We might have to do it. Ten years from now, I see myself working as a project manager in a large it farm, and buying a large apartment in a large neighborhood filled with wonderful people. I believe that w with hard work and determination, I would be able to achieve all my dreams and aspirations. And I thank you. Oh, <laughs> like oh, that was a weird way of answering that question. Are you training for a beauty pageant? Because it sounds like an answer from a beauty pageant. Well, I was going to say a job interview. Sorry. Okay, you got me. I am training for a beauty pageant. Yes. Look at her from head to toe. I hope you won't take this a long way, but... I have a feeling you're, you'll win. You really think so? I mean... 
tear blush. The color disappears from her face as she as soon as she realizes it. You better not drink since student tone. You were lying, right? What? No, no, I'm not. You were trying to catch me off guard. That's not going to work out with me. She lunges towards me. <laughs> her fist caught into a punch. Oh no, what am I about to do? Have like our first boss battle? I merely dodge through the sight, but she unintentionally steps to on my shoe. Watch out. Hi there. It's like watching an accident on phone in slow motion. She pushes in midair and begins to stumble backward. I try to grab her, but when I grip her hand, she pulls me along. Greg does it, look, and we both fall to the ground. She, she lands on her back, and, and I lie on top of her. her. My cheeks press against her. Great. <laughs> my cheeks pressed against her chest. <laughs> we both lie down for a few seconds, unsure of what to do. Isabella seems to be in shock. <laughs> what is happening? For some reason, the more I feel her chest, the faster my heartbeat gets. I can feel some sort of rough fabric grazing against my face. Wait, she, she's wearing a... Well, no, duh. I can smell a mixture of perfume, fabric, conditioner on her shirt. Most of all, I can feel her... Under my face. This is awkward. You have offered me your permit, Baka, idiot. Where? <laughs> Isabella wraps her arms around my neck. I can't breathe, let me go. I think she wants me to go off. Why well, she's strangling me? I can't stand up. The more she tightens around my neck, the the more she's pressing my cheek against her body. It's very jiggly and soft and and uh, exciting part part stuff. What the am I thinking? I need to get off of her. Hey, oh dear! Why is my mouth suddenly dry? I take a deep breath and pry her deadly arms off my my neck. I won't be surprised if my face looks purple from being suffocated. I walk to the side and push myself off the ground. Finally, I'm back to, on my two feet. Because of the uh, I was telling the truth. I think you're gonna win with that present because, because you're pretty and smart. Where do you have to talk to me now? I don't get what you've done. Like I said, I believe in you. I believe that you will win that pageant. Now stand up. My back is a bit more sore from the fall, but I've kind of missed the softness of her chest. And her... I guess I can say bra, can I? It's just a clothing item, isn't it? Uh, focus, focus, student toad. Forget what, just ha what happened and just move on. Watch Isabella get back on her feet. She's suddenly quiet. I just heard her compliment. Is she sorry about it? <laughs> I, I need to go. See you tomorrow, too, student toad. I felt showing her face. She sets off leaving me all by myself. That was interesting. Pretty sure she was blushing, but I thought she hated me. Oh well, no use chasing her after all. And knowing thoughts of her, I continue to walk home the next morning. I arrive in school earlier than yesterday, at least now. I know the teacher isn't going to be slamming a book on my head. I see someone running towards me. Hey, buddy. Didn't see you yesterday. So, I guess this is the fourth person. Like I said, like someone else, like, they usually have four people, like, drawn in in color instead of, like, pink and black silhouette. So I guess this is our fourth person they are, our, like, best friend, I guess. Joshua. Hey, buddy. Didn't see you yesterday. It's Joshua. Best friend since childhood. Yeah, I thought you were a no-show. I almost called your mom to check up on you. Nah, man. I just spent the entire day hiding from my ad... ad admirers? As we get for being probably popular with ladies. Who says I'm complaining? That's the price of fame, right? I, I mean... BAM! Someone bumps directly into Joshua. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Give Joshua the most in innocent thing. Eek. The girl falls to the floor and let go of the fake things she's carrying. Are you okay here? Let me help you. Oh, thanks. Pull her, I pull her up. She runs her shoulder. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I was running so fast and I... She falls silent upon seeing the two of us. Quickly, she picks up her stuff from the floor. Let me get that for you. No, I can do this. I don't need to help me. You're too kind. She picks up a box of what looks like handmade cookies on her other hand is a cute, cute envelope. She faces Joshua while trying to avoid eye contact. I'm sorry for bumping into you. I hope you aren't hurt by my clumsiness. No, not at all, actually. I was the one who was worried that you might have been hurt. The girl doesn't answer him. She turns around and sprints towards the end of the hallway. Good thing she's alright, right? She's okay, right? <laughs> I know, it looks like she was really in a hurry. Well, class is about to start. Teacher's gonna call me if I were late. See ya, pal. 
See you later. Don't let that, them catch you sleeping again, okay? After yesterday's awkward conversation, I'm thinking that Isabel won't speak to me anymore. To my surprise, she my shoulder and listens to a whisper. I think you need to do something for me. I know, I know. We need to do our homework. Not that silly. I want you to go to the rooftop after class and don't be late, understand? When what's on the rooftop? Let's do it, please. Let's not make this hard for the two of us. Sigh. She better not push me off the roof. I feel like I'm pinged down by a giant boulder. I'm just lying there getting, going with the flow of the world. So I decided to do as she told me. As soon as the bell rings, I head straight to the rooftop. So why am I here? Isabella, are you in here? There is silence. Kind of like that, like no one's here. Maybe she was paying a playing age. Me check on me. I'm about to head back downstairs when suddenly. Hello, student town. My name's Nina. Hi, hi. Hey, I remember you. That girl from earlier. And we need a thumbnail. Thumbnail. Uh, they kind of sound like uh, uh, what's her name? I forgot her name already. Isabella. So I kind of want to make Nina's voice a bit different. I don't know how though. Yes, I was the clumsy one. I'm glad you still remember me. I have something important to tell you. She she takes a few steps forward. In her hand, I see the the box of cookies and the cute envelope. Wait, what's about to happen? Why is she approaching me? Oh, you're approaching me. I can't give you these cookies and envelope unless I get closer. I go close as you like. Um, what? <laughs> Stay in town. Oh boy. Is she, is she, is she going to confess her stupid crush to me? Oh, well, I'm not prepared for this. I'm not ready for this, this at all. To be continued. <laughs> well, that was just sudden. Just the word to be continued. Well, that, it's just not a word. Whatever. What happened again? Oh, yeah. Uh, three girls in bikinis flew to me. Commander Pantsu, the greatest characters of all time. Help me with finding a wife. Yeah. Subscribe and do all the chats and share with your friends. Bye bye.